It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a Shandy to show you. Now this is the first time on the channel I've ever reviewed a, a Shandy. But it's by a proper company. A company that has put a lot of effort into trying to get this right. It's 2.8% ABV. It's an IPA Shandy from Shandy Shack. Picked it up in Sainsbury's. I've had it a little while so I can't quite remember how much... I paid for this one, but I can't imagine it being too much money. Established in 2018, this company. Um, let's just get into it. Let's, let's give it a go. Ooh. <laughs> Exploded all over my arm. Right. Shandy in the glass then. So I'm just wondering, is it, I imagine it's IPA first and then they've added some lemonade. That's what I'm kind of thinking with this. Well, have a look at the back of the can later on. I just want to go, I like to go into my beer stroke shandy reviews uh, blind. Just so I can kind of work it all out for myself first and then have a little bit of a read about what the brewer wants me to kind of think that they, they've come up with. So we've got a three finger white head uh, good levels of slow moving carbonation it's an amber beer in the color there there's a little bit of haze going on it actually i mean if, if you were to ask me to describe what it looks like in a in a, in a blind if you handed this, this to me blind i would say I, I would definitely say that It looks like an American style IPA or an American style pale ale, at least, especially with that kind of gold and amber hue to it. Let's get the aroma then. It smells like IPA. A little bit of grapefruit, a little bit of orange peel, a bit of fleshy blood orange. Bit of spicy pepperiness coming through. It smells pretty good. It it really does. No real hint of lemonade. Although maybe there is. If if I now really kind of dial down, drill down on the aroma of this. Think about the lemonade. Maybe there is a little bit of a lemonade aroma. It, this this is a lot more interesting than I thought it ever was going to be. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. That's really odd. It's really odd, but in a weird way, it's really good. First and foremost, I bought this beer with a little bit of intrigue there to buy it, to review it, to see what it's like. If I was in a shop and I seen this and I wanted a shandy, then yeah, why not? Absolutely, why not? It's very much... You have German Radlers, where they're, they're based off, some of them are based off wheat beers. They add that lemonade. They're supremely tasty. Well, think about a German Radler, but in a sense that it's an American IPA. It's a real mind bender because you're getting tastes of... You're getting tastes of IPA, you're getting tastes of lemon peel, grapefruit, orange peel, passion fruit, mango. But then, but then there's that lemonade. Then you're, then you're picking up lemons and a little bit of spiciness on the back end, a little bit of bitterness. It goes back to being beer. So it, it goes from being kind of lemony over to 
beer, back to lemony, back to beer. It's a really strange concept that works. It works. If you're looking to drink normal beer, I say normal beer that, you know, something four or 5% ABV, then there's going to be no interest for you whatsoever in, in, in this review really. It's, it's not going to interest you whatsoever, but there must be a little bit of intrigue there from yourselves to see this beer and to maybe want to try it. I certainly did. I certainly could have thought, what's this all about then? Of course, growing up in the 1980s, uh, we had um, bass, bass, bass shandy. Bass shandy was everywhere. It was like 0.0, .0 three percent abv beer tasting shandy that as a kid you could buy off the shelf um it was shandy bass it was called I remember shandy bass vividly because i used to buy it quite a lot as a kid you'd think you'd be buying beer you know you'd be like really look at this and you're like six years old seven years old wandering the streets Maybe a little bit older, maybe eight or nine. Of course, then you hit your, you hit your teenagers where maybe you drink some beer, but maybe you don't really like the taste of beer. Um, I don't think I liked the taste of beer until I at least hit the age of 18, 19. I drank beer, pretended I liked beer, but at that age, I was always happy to add a dash of lemonade to it just to take that kind of, probably back then it was the bitterness I didn't like about beer. So probably to take that bitterness away and um, add some lemonade um, just so that I could enjoy this, uh, this beer. I remember those days. So to kind of go back as a 43 year old man drinking, I've been, I've, I've been drinking some of those little Perlenbacher Rattlers recently in the hot sunshine and I've really enjoyed them I've really really enjoyed them um I'll, I'll give an instance so I had a full week of reviewing beer then I had a Saturday of of going out with some friends and family and I had a, a real good drink then and then on the Sunday it was sprung on me that we had a barbecue and I, I was like all beard out you know sometimes you're all beard out sometimes you're like oh another day's drinking this is going to be tough well i sneakily went up to little and i bought a load of these rattlers uh these, these, these lemonade kind of style vice beer things from from little and i was going into the kitchen and pouring them into vice beer glasses and bringing them out to my family and um, i was drinking it of course and nobody knew the difference nobody knew that i was drinking a 2.5% ABV kind of lemonade thing. And, and you could probably do the same thing, thing here if you wanted to, if 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 you've been in a, a very rare instance where you're all beered out, where, where you simply can't face another day on the beer. Maybe pick some of these out and, and enjoy them. So that was Shandy Shack. IPA Shandy, a hot packed IPA with a slosh of natural lemonade. Shandy's back. They're based in Bampton, Oxford. Clever people down there, aren't they, Oxford? Clever people. Shandy Shack, IPA Shandy. Quite like it. I don't think I like it as much as I like German Rattlers. I think I, I, think I prefer the German Rattler. But for what it is, an IPA Shandy. Not too bad. Seven out of ten. Seven out of ten from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.